Hello, my name is Greg Vokovan. I'm the president of Right Care of Minneapolis St. Paul. Right Care is the charitable arm of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. We in Minnesota pride ourselves in being one of the most active right cares in helping children and their families with the debilitating effects of language disorders. Children who cannot communicate for a number of different causes, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional, cannot live the normal lives that other children experience. They live in a dark place, unable to communicate their thoughts, needs, hopes, and desires that allow them to function in society. They become angry, confused, or frightened. Their bright young minds are trapped in their inability to communicate. My name is Carrie Trombley, and my son is Charlie. Charlie is eight years old, and he has just started the third grade. He has received a grant from Right Care uh, for speech therapy, and Charlie has been using that grant for close to a year now. And he um, had an evaluation with speech. He actually had asked me to go to speech beyond the speech that he receives at school. He said, Mom, I want to be a better friend. I want friends, which is something that didn't exist for Charlie a year ago. So uh, what do you think about the Scottish Rite in, in this right care program? Maybe it's easier for make me to have, get more friends because I did, because I did right care. Do you think that the, we should uh, keep the right care program going so we can help other kids? So, um, you wouldn't mind telling the kids that, that we could help them? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Do you think we did a good job? Yeah. Before, he was, like, a little kind of crazy at times. Oh, yeah? And he still is kind of that, but uh, speech helped most of that. Did the kids ever pick on you? Because you, you couldn't talk? Sometimes. What did they do to you? They're like, tell me you don't talk at all. Oh, that's and what they, they tell you? they say I don't have a voice. Mm. You got a pretty good voice now. Well, you could yeah. kind of could talk, but he couldn't say, like, correct words. Yeah. And since he has been in therapy, the big changes are, are his um, self-confidence and him being able to recognize um, how to deal with his social events. And I think a lot of people think of speeches and correcting the way we talk, but for Charlie, it's just as um, devastating for him not to be able to socialize with his peers. My name is Jennifer Jensen, and I'm one of the owners here at Advanced Therapy in Lionel Lakes. I, as a speech language pathologist, uh, our main concern is the development of children's communication and all aspects of communication, whether that is having clear and fluent speech or being able to express your thoughts and feelings with others, but also understanding what others have to say and being able to organize your thoughts to plan and to problem solve. When I first met Charlie, he was struggling socially, um, having a hard time with just daily peer interactions at school, um, and a lot of it really stemmed from the fact that he didn't know that the things he was doing were disruptive to other students, and he didn't know that the things that he was doing were kind of alienating him um, from his peers. I know that, um, like Charlie, a lot of kids benefit from both speech-language pathology and the occupational therapy services that we provide here, and we partner really closely with the occupational therapists and find that a lot of kids benefit from the services that they provide because it does help them with their regulation skills. So being able to remain calm in situations that are scary or stressful or anxiety producing. And when they have those skills under a little bit better control, they really can benefit from the speech therapy even more. For Charlie, the one piece that I really remember that stuck out to me the first time I could see there was some light at the end of the tunnel for him is he and his sister Ava and I were playing a game which we often try to do and it lasts for five minutes and it's over. And it was, hey, Ava, it's your turn. 
And I thought that has never happened before. And it was a priceless moment to know, wow, he gets it. It's sinking in, this all works. The most rewarding thing working with these children are this, their success stories, their ability to be able to tell me how they're feeling, to sing their songs with me, to be able to read a book with me and smile and laugh and, and just play and be a kid. One of the things that I really like about Charlie's progress is that now he's able to express himself and tell stories about things that he's done throughout his week. So, so do you like to tell stories? Yes. Hey, tell me a story. Uh, when we were up camping, I was fishing with an orange fishing line, and I reeled it in a couple times, and I used a minnow, then I smelled it out, and I stayed off there for a couple hours, and I heard this, and I was like, and I reeled it up, like, it took me, like, a minute and a half. It was this, this big. A true fisherman. <laughs> Not this big. Not that big. <laughs> the kids are so brave to be able to come in here and work on the things that are hard for them, and they just they deserve a lot of credit. And so speech has been amazing for him to build those skills and build this, the um, self-confidence. One of the most heartbreaking things about some of our first meetings with families is when they've tried to get the help that kids need and have been unsuccessful either because they haven't been able to have the, have the funding for it or maybe they haven't been able to get um, their physician or pediatrician to see that it's time for them to, to work with someone like us to work on those communication skills. Your group is so generous and so giving and so helpful in that um, Charlie has such a bright future in front of him and he's such a smart and lovable boy and to know that you guys are the, put the wind in his sails, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It is our goal to provide the necessary funding to allow these children and their families to eliminate this burden from their lives. Proper therapy can change the dynamic of an entire family. With your help, we can become the voice for children who have no voice of their own. To find out how you can help, visit our website at rightcaremsp.org.